What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing. I just finished up watching Miguel Burchelt versus Diego Ruiz. And this was a 10-rounder in the lightweight division. And this fight was Saturday, October 14th from the Polyform, Na in Merida, um, Yatu Yakutan, uh, Mexico. And this fight was broadcasted on the zone. Um, and in this fight, Miguel Burchelt was able to get a third-round corner stoppage victory um, over... Um, Diego Ruiz, uh, and he improves his record to 39-3 and three, um, after this victory, and Diego Ruiz drops to 24-8-1. and one. So, I mean, this was a pretty expected result. Um, Diego Ruiz is a natural featherweight, and uh, Miguel Burchelt is a very, very um, well-sized lightweight. And, yeah, I mean, he dominated Ruiz in this one. Um, after two full rounds were completed, we were going into the third round. And the referee, or excuse me, the corner stopped the fight. I'm not really too sure if it was an injury or if it was based on his beatdown, but it could have been a shoulder injury, but still, he was getting dominated and hurt throughout this fight. Um, and yeah, leading up to the stoppage, I had this fight scored 20-18 to 18 in favor of Burchelt. The first round, Burchelt was pressing very hard, really looked like he was trying to get Ruiz out of there early. Um, then in the second round, um, um, Ruiz was just getting backed up, hit with big shots, and then later on in the round, it seemed like he was very hurt with these big combinations from Burchelt. Um, and then in between the second and third, um, he didn't look good in the corner, and they waved it off. So, um, yeah, very, very solid performance for Miguel Burchelt, as expected. He did what he had to do. No complaints, um, nothing that really truly impressed me in this one. I mean, he just did what he had to do, got his work done. And got his 39th pro victory and a comeback since his loss to Jeremiah Nakatia. Uh, and this goes in the question, what is next for Miguel Burchelt? Now 39-3, and three, like I said before. Um, for Burchelt, I wouldn't mind seeing him step up in competition at lightweight. I know he took that loss to Nakatia, but I, I really would like to see him um, just have a nice little comeback victory against a solid opponent. I know this was his real comeback victory. But, I mean, comeback victory against someone who's a live opponent, not someone like Ruiz who is just there as a punching bag. I would like to see him face maybe someone who's ranked top 25, top 35, anywhere between there at the lightweight division. Um, I'm not really too sure if he's still fighting on these top-ranked cards considering this one was on the zone. But uh, for Burchelt, I wouldn't mind seeing him, like I said before, fighting someone between the top 25 and top 35. Um, but as for Diego Ruiz... I think for him, he's going to be fighting unknown opponents, getting some victories, and then getting called up as the B-side for some of these big fights and um, taking losses, just like he did here. He also took some losses as well earlier in his career to some other higher-level guys. Uh, so he's really sort of just a journeyman B-side opponent. Uh, so overall, Miguel Burchelt gets his 39th victory and a comeback win as he stops Diego Ruiz in the corner. And again, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you guys later.